Hey everybody, welcome back to Stack Snacks, the show where we try to make AI exciting, fun, accessible for everybody. So this week, we are going to talk a little bit about the Gemini launch. It's been about a week since Google launched their Gemini Advanced model. And we'll talk about basically, is it worth your time? How does it stack up? And should you use your hard-earned money to subscribe to it the funny thing about google is their branding of all this is terrible so we got the launch of the gemini ultra 1.0 model and to get access to the gemini 1.0 model you need to subscribe to google one ai plan <laughs> and then you need to then you can have access to gemini advanced which is powered by the gemini ultra 1.0 model i probably got that wrong but i don't think i did i think i'm pretty close to how they how they break it down but basically it's their attempt at a chat gpt4 competitor and i've been using it a lot for the past week and it's definitely better bard slash gemini have come a long way since it launched many months ago it does some things does some things well so far. I've used it for some light coding help. I use it for some kind of real time searches. It was okay. I don't think it was anything that is leaps and bounds ahead of anything we've seen with ChatGPT yet. I think that it's probably getting they're getting closer to some parity probably. There's definitely a lot of, there's definitely been a lot of quirks. I know the Gemini team does, has been pushing out some updates over the last couple, uh, last, I think it's only been over a week, last couple of days to iron out some of the issues that Gemini had. So I think it's, I think when it comes to the quality, it's, it's improving. I think it's improving. And I think, I think they've come a long way. The mobile integration's nice. And then I think that, I think the thing that surprised me the most about it was that it's, that it is it's paid it's a paid tier, but also that it is twenty dollars a month, and that twenty dollars a month is looped into your Google One plan. And if you're on a Google One plan, you probably just paid for Google Drive most likely. So for twenty bucks a month, you get two terabytes of Google Drive storage as well as access to the Gemini model. So it's a decent deal. It just seemed like it. It just seemed like an easy way for them to. To, to as a differentiator just charge a little less but if you're already paying for some google drive storage it might not be that much of an increase for you and if you're paying for chat gpt plus at the moment i don't see the most compelling reason for you to change anything you get two months free i i think for those curious to see how it works in your workflow but why not why not go take the 60 days and see for what you're trying to do does it have some improvements or is it slightly better but I'd say overall, it's hard to say, oh, people should start moving to this. At, at this moment, obviously, as they make updates, these things might change. At the moment, I am subscribed to both as per full disclosure. I don't know which one I, I will keep yet, but I would say that Gemini has surprised me, especially if they can keep working on some of these kinks. I think they're, I think Google Google has come a long way. It's not quite the the awesome launch video that they had where uh there was like this you're having this basically this full-on conversation with this ai as it was like looking through this camera the launch the the demo video did make it seem like uh this incredible future but it's we don't have that quite yet but uh, yeah and i still think that google needs to tap more into I think into their own ecosystem. I think that's still the the biggest kind of the biggest I guess downfall at the moment because it still doesn't I think integrate well enough with the Google Suite. I still just want something I could be able to hey what's on my calendar today? Hey, add this event to my calendar. Like that one just seems oh I, I, how do they not have that? Hey, add this. They have that. Hey, add this to Google Docs, which is nice export some things in Gmail. So they do have some of that functionality, but they're just leaving calendar off of it. And I think that could be a really 
this really big missing piece. They can come up with like a a daily briefing as you log in every day. Hey, do you want to see your daily briefing? And it goes and it gets your calendar. It checks traffic in Google Maps. Maybe it queues up the YouTube video playlist you're watching. They could do some cool things with their data set. It's just, it's just not there yet. And they could end their access to, like I said, the mobile integration is quite nice. What they can do at that level, I think could be even more interesting. But that's a couple early takes. We're going to do a deep dive over on the YouTube channel, hopefully pretty soon. Maybe do some comparison queries just to see what works and, and what doesn't work for, for certain things. But I think Google's improving. I think Google's improving. They're improving quickly. And it still feels like a wonderful and exciting time. And I just can't wait to see what we got coming down next. Just a couple of thoughts for everybody today. Thanks. Thanks you all. Thank you all for joining me. And uh, we'll see you next time.